This ready-to-use Excel file allows you to track headcount metrics, employee movements and sanctions metrics, as well as payroll metrics and KPIs. Using this template is very easy, you just need to input your settings. Enter or import employee data. Enter or import movement, sanctions and remuneration data. The headcount dashboard allows you to visualize the key indicators of your workforce over three years. Use the slicer to select the analysis type. Total headcount or average headcount. Here we will see the analysis of the total headcount. The average age of employees is 41 years old. Men are 39 years old on average. On average, women have five years of tenure. The majority of employees are on full-time, permanent contracts. 10% of employees are managers. Most of employees are aged between 35 and 44. 52% of employees are men. The company employs 19 expat workers, two more than last year. 24 employees have disabilities. Production operators represent 26% of the company's total workforce. More than half of employees have worked for the company for less than five years. Division 2 employs more than 50% of the workforce. Third of the employees work on the administration department. The headcount increased by 12% in 2023. All managers aged between 25 and 34 are women. More than 80% of professional employees, aged between 45 and 54, are men. The Career Path Dashboard allows you to visualize the key indicators of the employee career changes over three years. Hires. Departures. Transfers, promotions, and other movements in the company. As well as analysis of disciplinary sanctions. The company's staff turnover rate is 20%. 39 employees joined the company in 2023. And 27 left. The company hired 19 employees on fixed-term contracts. No clerical support worker was hired this year. Four were hired last year. Men get hired more than women. More than two-thirds of hiring needs came from administration department. Four employees resigned in 2023. Resignations decreased compared to 2022. The majority of departures concern managers and male employees. Departures from the sales department have doubled compared to last year. This year, two employees received a promotion. Both are managers. One promoted manager is a man, and the second is a woman. The company has issued three warnings this year. It fired a professional employee. Male employees are more subject to disciplinary sanctions compared to their female colleagues. The payroll dashboard allows you to track payroll metrics, employer payroll taxes, and net pay of employees over three years. Use the slicer to select the calculation type. Average remuneration, headcount ratio or average employee cost, and total remuneration. The minimum remuneration received by employees is 1,415. The minimum remuneration of men is lower than that of women. At maximum, an employee receives remuneration equal to 5,284. The payroll of employees on permanent contracts amounts to nearly 6 million. The payroll of professional employees represents a third of the total payroll. The payroll bill for those over 54 has fallen compared to last year. Total payroll increased by 25% compared to 2022. By selecting the analysis of the payroll headcount ratio, it is possible to see that. The average annual cost of a full-time employee is 39,481. The cost has increased compared to last year. The average annual cost of an engineer is the highest. The average annual cost of an employee who has between 5 and 9 years of tenure is the lowest. By selecting the analysis of the employer payroll taxes, it appears that the total employer payroll taxes, from Division 1 and 2, represent more than 80% of total employer contributions. The production department is the most expensive in terms of employer contributions. The analysis of the average net pay allows you to see that there is nearly no gap between women and men.
there is almost no difference between the remuneration of expats and locals. However, employees with disabilities have significantly lower pay than their colleagues. The net pay of men and women are relatively equal in terms of occupation classification. But there are gaps in remuneration in terms of job level.